Alright YouTube, Brute Works here with Tajan Art and today I'll be showing you a nice simple basic tutorial on Photoshop working with 3D text from Cinema 4D and uh, basically all I'll be using today is this filter bar up here and showing you how to create some nice effects with the 3D text and then filters so first of all I'll just create a uh, new canvas 1080 by 720 is fine I'll just make this background look a bit more presentable for you basically add a gradient overlay change it to radial I'll go to this preset one I've already got click OK, click reverse and then I'll move the scale up that'll do for now um, basically this is the text I made in a background like the text style I made in the background for a part of AG for this customer called SME Boo um, there's the partner banner here looks pretty good nice grunge looking effect there going on so that's basically what I'll be showing you today and um, there's the full background if you haven't checked it out right this I'll just use this text what I made the other day for this tutorial scale it into the middle there we go so basically what your text you want to do is right click rasterize it and basically control G twice which I'll copy the layer twice there we go hide the first layer, hide the second layer and leave the top layer shown right first you go to filter in the top tab go down to stylize and scroll down to wind at the very bottom and as you can see as soon as you click on that it gives you a, a nice looking preview I'll just zoom out a bit and that's on stagger but I'll today I'll be using wind for this tutorial and you can change it from the right and from the left so I'm going to use from the left wind for this one and as you can see gives you a nice looking effect there going on like scan lines going across the text um, if you hide that layer, that layer is done for now click on the layer underneath that and again go to filter stylize wind it'll be already on the one you've just used but this time I'm going to be using stagger and I'll use this one from the left then click OK. Um, it'll give you a nice little blurred, distorted effect here. So basically, now that you've got that layer done, go over to your eraser and just rub out that because that normally happens on text. It'll just make a little bit of text over there. And just with the eraser, you can go around and erase the bits that you don't think look good. So I'll just quickly do this for you. Won't take too long. Just nice quick one. But yeah, at the end of this tutorial, you should have some nice grungy text you can uh, use for a background or a speed art or whatever you want. Really, it's up to you. So there's that layer done. Click on this layer. Just drag that one on underneath. And as you can see, it looks pretty good already go back on this layer for a sec rub a bit more out and there we go on that layer looks fine another thing you can do is use the overlay go on to blending mode at the top click from normal down to overlay and that will give you a nice looking effect or you can use that colour dodge that will give you a really good looking effect with a nice turquoise blue look going on but yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, I've been Bookworks with TGN Art and look out for my next tutorial cheers